Hello everybody. I just gave uh, all these guys their second mild feeding. Except for these three up here. This was their first feeding. Just because I started those a couple of days later than the rest of them. Um, and what I gave them was, where is it? There it is. I gave them, what was that, 100 and, about 160 ppm of the giant grill. And the reason why I did that, because it has a higher nitrogen count. And they could probably use a little bit of greening up. Now, the plan was to plant three or I should say two of these plants out tomorrow but this upcoming week is going to be rather cold as far as uh, I think it's like two or three days I think it's three days that's going to be about in the mid 40s for a high in the mid to upper 30s at night and pretty much cloudy every day so instead of plant, planting them tomorrow I'm gonna wait one more week which will for most of these guys they'll be right at four weeks old which is still plenty you know good for being in a bag and then these three guys in the front they'll be uh, well three and a half weeks old so we're still looking good at time wa time wise um let me take you a little closer now a lot of these newer leaves or uh first true leaves like where are you there he is like this guy and this guy really suffered bad heat and um drying out um Easter weekend when it just about all three days was just about in the 80s so it got pretty warm in here but they are growing out of it I mean the second leaf was looking pretty good and obviously this guy is looking really good um these are the all five of these are the 1030s so I only need two of them and the one the two that I'm going to take for the first patch will obviously be this guy he's my uh, top pick for the hill and then I will take this guy as a backup um, this leaf is looking decent and this was the first true leaf which isn't awful but and he's got good size to him so that's why he's my runner-up and then over here for the um, what numbers are, is this the, oh, I can't read that, he's 16.49 and a half, because a half pound is very important, Holland here, I will be take this is, this is my favorite plant, um, and then I will, this is my second runner up, actually they both look pretty good, I mean, that leaf is a little, whoops, <laughs> this leaf is a little gnarly, but that was from the heat and uh, the pots, the bags drying out a little bit too much Easter weekend. So it'll be that guy and that guy will go in uh, the second hoop house. And these three, I haven't quite made up my mind yet. Um, I think for sure the, what is this one? That is the 1382 Lear is this guy. I'm pretty sure I will have this guy go in there. And then it's a toss up between these two. Um, this guy is bigger. 
but I don't know if it really means anything. I don't think it does, but his second true leaf is kind of funky. Um, that just may be because of uh, growing inside. Um, his third leaf looks pretty decent though, so this is probably the second one that I'm gonna have for the backup of this guy. And that one is the 1708 Fawcett. If I said that correctly, I hope I did. Um, this is the 2283 Barlow. Um, he's doing good. He's just not growing as vigorously as these two guys are. But, I mean, he's doing real well other than... The, um, lost my train of thought. Um, and I think partially why is because when he first started out, um, this cot was undersized, so he might not have had as much food and energy to catch up or, uh, stay in line with these two guys. But he's probably still has a plant, pretty good plant. And they're all three of them are pretty healthy. Which is where my dilemma is, because I have to pick two of the three. So, I have a, but I have a good week to uh, think about that. Um, and see how they do in this week. So, so yeah, that is what's going on with the giant pumpkins. Um. And we'll see how they do with the, their second feeding with uh, um, stronger nitrogen. And see if they green up and uh, hopefully stuff like this will start to go away. If not, it'll be okay. Inside pumpkin plants never look pretty. But, well, until next time guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye.